what do you think in terms of playing the game hard but playing it with a bit of respect in terms of the positioning you were in and, and what he saw? Yeah, I actually played minor hockey against Brett, so uh, I know there's no bad blood there. Um, it was kind of an awkward play. I, I got a chance to see it again. I, I know I was kind of kind of diagonal. I wasn't fully facing the boards when he hit me, and then I kind of. It's a hockey play. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold a grudge on anything. Um, I mean, who knows? I I mean, I probably would have hit a guy too if I saw him there. If it was, I don't know. You don't know. You, it's it's such a fast game that uh, I understand. I understand uh, how it developed there. Off the bat, Travis, and you kind of slow to get up and go to the room. Not really. I uh, I knew that it wasn't really my head. I kind of just I kind of hit the stanchion on the top of my nose. So I, if anything, I didn't I didn't know if my nose was okay. But uh, I didn't really have any worry about my head. What has stood out to you the most about what John Tavares has been able to do this season? I think just come in and be such a good teammate while uh, while also producing so well on the ice. Um, he, he's a guy that everyone wants to play play better when you're on the ice with him. Um, he'll he'll get you the puck if you're open, and he'll he'll battle for uh, for you and for our whole team down low. So he's a guy that makes you uh, definitely want to work harder for your teammates. What do you mean? This is still a bit of a surprise when he's been able to come in and do all the things that he's done on and off the ice. And really been a model player in all areas. Yeah, I didn't really know him um, coming into here. Obviously, you see how good of a player he is, but you don't really know the personal side of it. Um, and he's done nothing but impress me on both sides. So, what have you seen from this club's mindset to uh, go into third periods and hold leads and uh, have not lost at all this season when when leading after 40? Yeah, knock on wood, Paul. But uh, <laughs> thanks for that one. But <laughs> no, uh, I mean kudos to our team for doing that. Uh, our forwards are bearing down in the third period, helping us out defensively, and our goalie's been playing well. So um, I, I think it's a good sign that we're uh, we're figuring that out. He had a hell of a game tonight. Um, I think he really proved proved what we were missing out there. Um, whether we showed it or not, we really, really miss a guy like that. And he comes in and, like Johnny, he'll battle for everyone on the ice and uh, really, really battle in deep in the corners and, and really wear them out, I guess, in the third period. How much does that spark a team when you guys see him come back like that and just not miss a beat? Yeah, I mean, you, you want to play harder for guys like that. Those are the uh, those are the guys that are loved in the room, uh, whether they're vocal or not, just because they're going out there playing their heart out for everyone. Only a few hours left till the voting closes for the last man in All-Star. What would you say to an undecided voter still discussing who they're going to vote for the Atlantic <laughs> Division? So. I don't know. I, I'd i love to have no doubt that, uh, that the Leafs Nation's behind them already, but uh, I'm sure a couple more votes won't, won't hurt.